Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy Star. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're enjoying your Chinese New Year holiday. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw this flower using color pencil. I'll talk about how I layer the color and how I create a petal texture. Walk you through step by step how I complete this drawing. Now, if you're ready, let's start drawing. Before drawing, I will observe the reference photo and pick out the colors I want, then try to mix it and taste it out on another piece of paper. And this will help avoid mistakes. As always, I start with my sketch. I draw out the basic shape as you can see here, so it's easier for the coloring process later. It's quite important to have an actual sketch because it does affect the finished drawing. Then I start drawing from the button area of the flower. I first put a very light layer, then add the darkest shades on top of that, and make sure to leave blanks for the reflections while coloring. Because I put a very light layer first, so the reflections won't look too abrupt. For some areas that has brighter color, I first put neon orange for the base layer, then I add the red on top of that. This way the red looks bright and vibrant, but won't clash with the other colors. Although this flower is mostly in red color, it still has some different. For example, the button area of the petal has brighter color and also has a little bit of orange tone in it, which is why I add neon orange on the base there. But the middle and around the tip area has slightly darker tones. So I like to observe the reference photo carefully and adjust the color accordingly. Then I draw out the petal contours and mark out the darkest shadows on the petal. For the inner side of the petal has yellow tone in it, so I put the bright yellow on the base there, then add the red color on top of that, and kind of mix two colors together so it looks more natural. For the outside of the petal, I first add the darkest shades on, then I add red tone color on top of that, and like before, try to mix them together. By the way, I'll list all the colors I use in the description box, check it out if you're interested. For the tepo, I first put some neon yellow around the button area, then I add darker shades on top of that. After that, I add the green tones around the tip. Then I draw out the petal contours so I can see the whole contours more clearly. It's quite important to make sure you color following the direction of the growth so it looks more natural. And I add darker shades around the shadow areas and also some neon orange on the petal areas that have brighter color.
Next, I put the red color on the top layer and kind of mix up with the button layer as you can see here. After I'm done with that, I add some darker shades to strengthen the shadow area so it pops out more. And make sure to constantly clean up the leftover wax from the color pencil to keep the paper nice and clean. Then continue the same drawing process until you finish the last petal. Lastly, the touch-up, I like to go back to see if there's any details missing or any areas that need to be strengthened again. Now the drawing is about done here, comment below and let me know if you have any questions. That's all for today's video, I really hope it's helpful and you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next week. Bye!